these sandals when I was in Japan. They're cute. I love this color. I brought back a pot that my grandma gave me. It's like barely used. So, and it's a copper bottom. I got some miso bowls in Japan. Miso soup is one of my favorite things I eat every day almost. So I got some brand new ones made by Real Wood. Aren't they so pretty? It actually changes color when you move it around. I got this shirt for Chris. It's from the sleepy shop. That star's the best, but look how cute this little shirt is. I only have one umbrella, so it was nice to get another one. It's like a gradient blue, which I really like. And then here are just more gifts, food, vegan, cutie, very important. Also, Solmen, my favorite noodle in Japan. This is the only one you should buy. Also, I bought some Katari Senko, which may be a random thing to buy. It's for mosquito repellent, but the packaging was so beautiful. It smells really good. It's like almost like an incense. Picked up one of these sponges. I've never tried it, but I heard they're really good. A little container for tea. Did get some keychains from the Gacha Gacha machines. This is like my childhood in one. Kohi Ginyu and Cinema Roll. Picked up Uncle Magazine, which is personally my favorite women's fashion magazine. Their color grading and their images, I think it's beautiful. I definitely strive to reach this aesthetic in my own videos. But it's also really great to study. It only comes out, I think, biannually, if I'm not mistaken. I also got a notebook in my new favorite color, this interesting green. I got this book about Mexican, you know, those little figurines. It's by a Japanese artist, and I think it's really cool. So I picked that up too. This beautiful skirt my grandma gave me was just sitting in her closet and never worn. Excited about that. Oh, my friend Yari gave this to me when I went to LA. So cute. <laughs> Another magazine. I got this at Yacht Books. It's called Subsequence. I really love the printing in this. It's so pretty. Like, oh my god, that pink. I got it instantly when I saw that paper. Because it's written in English and Japanese, which is more than I can ask for. I can't wait to read this later. Yeah, I'm really happy. I think all the colors are beautiful. Another great piece to study for design. I have a lot of laundry to do. Like, a lot of my purchases are pretty practical, I would say. And then a lot of impractical purchases, like this little pudding on a plate who has fallen. I guess I got a lot of mini things this time around. Oh my god, they're blue! It's like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Incense. Stationary. Like, what? It's so cute. Good morning, guys. It's been a while since I've filmed my daily life. I actually really enjoy living in San Francisco. I'm gonna film this week, so I'm excited to hang out with you guys and share like normal day-to-day -day stuff. And also, I'm gonna be working a lot. I'm actually finishing the Japan video number one right here. I'm working, you see? This video is taking me so long to edit. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm getting over that. I'm just like, whatever. I'm just gonna have fun with this video. And all of these are just exercises at the end of the day. This has just taken up a lot of my headspace. Ooh, I did want to talk about one thing. I've been reading some sub stacks. 
and Tina Zhang. I subscribed to her a few months ago. I found her on TikTok. Today, her topic was the internet is dead. Long live the internet. What happened to BRB? And it was really, really nice to read. I think, yeah, the internet is just never off. It's always on. Lately, I think a lot of people are getting exhausted and finding that the internet is not as fun anymore because we're just being bombarded with a more consumeristic approach and we're just tired and we want to log off, but we like can't log off anymore. We're so intertwined with the internet at this point. I agree too, like I work online, I then edit videos for online, and sometimes I feel like I'm consuming content that just make my mind numb. The substack is talking about like finding really nice corners of the internet that are really inspiring for you and actually make you enjoy being online rather than just letting things come to you. Like on Instagram, everything is fed to you and this version is like feeding yourself basically really want to be a little bit more intentional of what i'm listening to and watching because on the internet i feel like i'm not as careful if you know what i mean and i'm hoping that my own personal youtube channel can be that for some people and for myself where i feel like it's a comfortable and nice place to be I just wanted to feel like you're coming over to my house and we're just hanging out and that's basically it. But yeah, I'm gonna get to work. But yes, later we're going to an event at SF MoMA. Great museum. I barely go. Sorry, I just realized how expensive the tickets are. Okay, this is why I don't go that often. Anyway, Art of Noise exhibit. I hear it's really amazing. There's a hi-fi listening room where people come and play um, on, I think, records. There's a whole exhibition about technology, product design for sound. Anyway, it's really interesting to me. I'm excited to go, and I will take you guys there with me today. I am testing. Man, it's so nice. It feels like summer. It feels really nice to be on the floor. If I could do everything closer to the floor, I'd be a little happier. Doing my makeup or even maybe having like a low, low table to work at would be down. I'm wondering if I could make that happen somehow. So I've been editing a little bit this um, what I eat in Japan video and it's really making me nostalgic and miss being there it's hard to balance editing and having a life that's like relaxing and away from the computer because i do find editing relaxing but i don't think my body can process that i'm relaxing i'm not sure the screen time is definitely getting to me I'm hungry. I could use a snack. Oh, you probably are too, aren't ya? What can I eat as a snack? I really want a smoothie. And I have no smoothie ingredients. I'm so happy that I get to share the 5 o'clock sun that comes into this apartment with you guys. It's magical. 
I feel guilty being inside, but I genuinely enjoy being in here during this time. We're gonna attempt to make this. I don't have a microwave, so I'm gonna fry it. The last one I just ate was delicious. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm actually going for a photo shoot for my job. I'm going for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And I'm gonna be working for two of them. So I'm definitely not gonna have much time for myself, but I thought I would still try to pack pretty lightly. Trying to figure out what I should bring. They're gonna be long days. So I definitely want to pack clothes that are very comfortable. Definitely bringing these. This might be like a day one shoot day. I also have my Frankie Shop pants. It's either these or my Unicudo cargo pants. <laughs> bringing my shirt, my chartreuse shirt. Sure, this is like such a great piece. I love wearing this. I was thinking about bringing this white big billowy top of this white crisp shirt. That's also such a good piece for being on set. I'm gonna try that on and then I have this blue shirt which I wear every day. It's so thin and soft. with my friend Sam and then from there I'm going to check into my hotel which is just down the street yeah spend some time with some friends today before my shoot tomorrow it's nice to be here feels like I don't know I feel more like a tourist these days when I visit LA because there's so much I want to do and see and I really try to jam-pack my day with seeing all my friends and it's really hard to do that because LA is a really big city. 
hopefully by being on the east i can see more friends because all my friends live over there yeah i'll try to record as much as i can but i mean we'll see we'll see what happens i'm excited to show you my hotel room later i'm i've stayed there once so i have an idea of what it's gonna be like but it's gonna be nice okay i gotta go get an uber so I have a king size bed all to myself tonight. I gotta get a good rest. And then I have this pretty nice view of some buildings. 